It is Tuesday, October 11th, 2011 at 2.59 a.m. Central Daylight Time. And I wanted to show you something interesting that I've come across. Um, I'm at the College of DuPage website and this is the um, hemispheric polar satellite, visible satellite. And I've got a loop here that I'm going to play for you. Right up in here is the North Pole. And you can see that the time is down here and the loop goes from um, October 4th, 2011 at 1500 UTC to October 11th, 2011 at 1200 UTC. And what I want you to see is right along here you've got every this whole line of clouds is moving in this direction. And in here you're going to see um, Hurricane Jova and Tropical Depression Irwin. And what I want you to notice is at some point they turn around and go back the other direction. They're moving along right here and then they go backwards. And I'm going to show you on IntelliCast here. I've got the tropical satellite turned on and you can see where they start. Here's Tropical Depression Irwin on October 6th. Yeah, now they don't want to start. My computer's there it goes. Acting up again. There we go. October 6th at 5 a.m. Eastern Time. And then up here, he changes directions. And it looks like he was going west, northwest, and then he switched northwest right here. The third one down. And then the same thing with Jova. He started October 5th, 2011. And right up here, he switches directions. Or she, I'm not sure which. And goes east northeast. That was on October 8th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. So back to this. I'm going to see if I can get it to cooperate here. I'm going to stop it. And make sure we go forward. There we go. Noticed down in here, this black area, I haven't, I don't look at this very often, but this hasn't been here before that I noticed. And then also these rings each day at 2100 UTC this appears um, in varying degrees. I'm going to toggle through day by day. This one's on October 5th at 2100. Oops. That's October 6th at 2100. October 7th at 2100. And then notice here we've got two 2100s. I'm going back and forth but it's not changing. And it goes to 3 o'clock. This, this is in three hour intervals. And so what's missing is the October 8th 000 UTC. And Here's October 8th at 2100. October 9th at 2100. Now I've always thought these blank areas were something to do with the satellite, but I'm starting to think that that is not necessarily the case or 
if it is the case, it, it's doing more than just having static or something like that. Um, you watch as these flash on that it, it appears to be when it's flashing that things change. Because right here you can see there's a gap. There was a full line of clouds going through here and then once this turned it, it's left a gap and it turns right at, see right where the point is here. I'm going to go ahead and let it loop through again. This is hard to explain. See where it cuts in? It it almost you, it almost looks like it's pushing it back. And then finally, it changes directions. Now the interesting thing is on. Um, and this is part of it, I think, but also it, it branches off into something else, is where we had the um, two of them, two 2100 UTCs on October 7th. It just so happened that I had um, saved an El Dorado County map. And so when I went and looked at it on October 7th at 2100 UTC, there's all this static. And this, this is something that I have not seen on the El Dorado County World Satellite image before. Let me go in even a little closer. This also will loop. And notice, I'm going to go back. This is also in three hour intervals. This is right before 2100, so that's 18 on the 7th. And now it shows up, and then at the same time this shows up, notice this little white cloud here, which grows tremendously immediately, well, three hours later. And then the next three hours, within six hours, you've got this whole line of clouds. Let me go backwards. Well, I zoomed in by mistake. Well, you can see it better this way. So, I don't know, I can't get to my thing now. There we go. So there's all that interference, and you can see it's all over North America, Alaska, Canada, United States, but it cuts off here. And it's almost at the same angle that, that this is. So I'm going to go right before it. Here it appears. Backwards. Forwards. I'm going to unzoom and zoom back in. Let's see what happens here. clouds backwards. There's the interference. And we're hitting the end of the loop is what we're doing because I had saved this before. And see, that's the beginning of the loop, so that's... So we're not going to be able to see this actually turn, because it turns right after that point. 
going back to this is going to be somewhat tedious but I want to show you this I need to block out each of these because I want to show you how that ring progresses each day hopefully I'm counting this right I did practice so. Let's go back to the beginning. Here's the first one on October 4th at 2100 and it's just a thin ring and you can barely see the dark area. Oh, I missed it here. There we go. Go back. Start again. Let's try that again. Alright, so there's the fourth. Here's the fifth, the sixth, and this thing's getting in the way. I'm about to click on this. And yeah, now my mouse quit working. So we're going to just loop through, and you can, you'll can you be able to see that good enough. Sometimes the mouse doesn't work on that. It goes really fast, though. But you see how it moves up and out and back down? It's almost like a, it's cycling or something. And the heaviest one is on the 7th and the 8th. That's when you get real tight up here and that's when the hurricane down here changes direction. Looks like a washing machine. Let me see if I can get my mouse to work. There we go. So that's the 8th, that's the 9th, and now we're back at the beginning of the loop. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So anyway, I thought that was very interesting. I hope this made sense. Um, also, as these change direction, right here is the eighth. We're also getting um, curly cues up here by Alaska, Canada, and then this one too. I think by the next one turns into a curly cue up in here. Looks like it. I thought it was more, but not. Let's see. Now they're kind of gone. And this is only in this part of the world. See right here? They only are in the rest of the world there there is not any curlicues going on. I'm gonna cycle through again so you can kind of see. Oh, it's going so fast though. But none of these are turning into curlicues anywhere else. Only within that range where these black circles are. So, well, God bless you. I hope this made sense. Um, and maybe you can go see it yourself. It's under College of DuPage, and I'll, I'll put a link. God bless you. Good night.